so we can go to our game and we can see right here in the corner, we can see our game. <laughs> All right, let's make a mini map. Now we're gonna make it the simplest way possible and then we're gonna fancy it up towards the end. So I have a game here created. It's called Zomtoy, that's what we call it at Hackadens, but it's basically just the Unity third person isometric shooter or orthographic shooter. It's kind of like a top down third person shooter. The little kid, little toy doll that runs around and shoots other toy dolls on the ground. But basically we're gonna make a mini map. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and create my mini map camera. Basically, all a minimap is is just a camera that looks straight down on your level and then displays that out in the UI. So I'm gonna to go to my main camera here and I'm going to right click and create a new camera. I'm also going to rename this camera to, um, let's go mini cam. Now I'm going to change the perspective of this camera so it's more of a top down. Now these numbers are gonna work for me, but they might not work exactly for your game. Uh, your game might have a different uh, starting point for the camera, but you wanna make sure your camera is looking straight down on your level. So for me, I'm gonna change the rotation by 60, and then I'm gonna change the Y to uh, 36.7 and I'm going to change the Z to 7.4. That's just personally for this exact game, those are the numbers I'm using, yours are going to be different. Just position your camera so it looks straight down on your level. Even me, I could configure this, but I wanna make it so that it's at least similar to the perspective that the player has. Now what we need to do is display this camera out to the UI. The first thing that we're gonna to do to do that is create what's called a render texture. So in my assets panel here, I'm going to right click, create and choose render texture. I'm gonna call this uh, mini texture, but you can call it whatever you would like. Now this render texture has a bunch of settings over here. We're not gonna mess with any of them, except for maybe this size. If you wanted your texture to be a little bit more zoomed in or whatnot, you can change this size up here. But for us, we're gonna leave it just like that. Now this mini cam has a target texture right here. And this takes in a render texture. Well, we just created one of those. So we're gonna drag that in. And that what that does is it takes the display of the camera and renders it out to a texture. Well, what takes a texture? A raw image. So in my UI here, I have this HUD canvas thing. I'm gonna go right click UI and choose raw image. This takes an image file of any type. And then I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out here so I can see where I'm positioning that. I'm gonna position mine in the lower right hand corner of my UI. So if I switch to 2D mode, I can see that it's down here on the right. And I'm also just going to anchor that to the lower right hand side. So as my window changes, it always stays there. All right, so this raw image takes a texture. What texture do you think we're gonna put in there? That's right, this mini render texture. Now our camera is actually displayed right there in the corner. So we can go to our game and we can see right here in the corner, we can see our game. So if I hit play here, we can see a tiny little dot over there that is our player running around the scene. 